It's time for Private Properties, where we take a sneak peek at real estate we know you cannot possibly afford. Here to help us, Alyssa Abkowitz of the Mansion team. Thanks for being here. Of course. And there's nothing even a hope of me uh, being funny. No, you're this. out of luck this week, I, Simon. I really am out of luck. <laughs> okay, the first one, Houston Rockets owner's Gramercy apartment. Tell us about yep. this. This is Leslie Alexander, who is the owner of the Houston Rockets. He used to be a former Wall Street trader. He has bought this penthouse um, in Gramercy Park for $42 million. It is the top two floors of the penthouse, and we're told that it is the highest sale price in downtown Manhattan, according to records at this and, moment. And, that, that's, and that's actually really saying something. That because is. downtown Manhattan is particularly expensive. Absolutely. There's not a lot of Manhattan and um, they're not making <laughs> any, any more of it. Yes. Wow. So okay. this home has about 6,000 square feet. Mm -hmm. um, there's also about 2,000 exterior space. So uh, he's got a pretty nice pad. That's a very nice pad. Yes. And, um, and, and there it is. And uh, downtown Manhattan is very nice. Okay, well, let's move now to Virginia. What's in Virginia? In Virginia, um, a home is sold for $7.4 million. This is a beautiful English-style home. It's got about 20,000 square feet. Um, James Carlson, who is the former chief executive of Amerigroup, which was sold to Wellpoint recently, has bought the property. And um, the sellers were the Hannon Family Trust that was part of AOL. Uh, I think Time the Warner. queen would actually feel very much at home. The queen here. would. She, she really would, wouldn't she? Well, there are six bedrooms, nine bathrooms. There's an herb garden. She could, and there's a library, so she could go and pick her herbs and then like have and her tea in the library. she could find out what they library. are by looking in the books, too, exactly. couldn't she? No, it, exactly. does look, it does look fa fabulous. It's absolutely gorgeous. And um, it had been a little rocky. It had been on the market um, as far back as 2011. They took it on, took it off, and now it is off the market. <laughs> okay. Now, there's a a Manhattan condominium here that, um, <laughs> if you like black, yes. you'll love this. And, yes. you know, black, black, you, you obviously like black, you're wearing yes. black today. Mm. This has, like, every shade of black? Every shade of black. So this is the home of Cindy Gallup, who is a former um, ad executive. She is selling her literally all-black apartment. It has black ceilings, black she walls. She likes shoes, too. Black horse. Those shoes she considers an art installation. Now, this is a pretty crazy home. It's going on for $6 million. Um, it's in Chelsea, and it used to be the former YMCA building. What you're looking at here actually used to be the men's locker room. So wow. she's decided to make this sort of a sexy type of place. Um, she has no doors on her master bedroom or her master bath that you're seeing right now. So if you want to take a bath in private, you're out of luck there. There are two other bathrooms with it. Um, it has been the set of videos. Nelly and uh, Usher Pharrell came and did their so thing in it. Most people, when you look at most, most houses most apartments yeah. then white or cream is the color you get occasionally red yep. or something like that or a bit of yellow black I mean, it's black. I mean, what if you got a white cat? Then you're out of luck. It's going to have like little white luck. hairs yeah. all, all over the place. Or then a dog. I think you're in trouble. You better not have a white cat or dog. The funny thing was, Simon, she came up with the idea for this in a drunken haze in Shanghai. She was in a bar. That she explains thought, a lot. <laughs> she thought, I want to live in a place like this. And the question is, is will came. anyone else want to live in a place that's decorated completely black? And if they if they don't, isn't that like sort of like? spoiling the fun they're moving in and just like oh can I, have, can I have like a tw 27 well, gonna, gallons of white <laughs> maybe so but they're going to need an exquisite art collection because among some of the things that she has in this place a gucci chainsaw and an ak-47 <laughs> festooned in chanel logo prints so wow. whoever wants this is going to need to up their game yeah, artwise. don't go for the chainsaw or the ak-47 while drunk so exactly. that, that's the absolute <laughs> that key is the moral of the story great, great <laughs> stuff i won't be buying that one either always a pleasure Alyssa <laughs> abkowitz you, of the mansion team i'm simon constable and that was private properties